Hello again, friends. When we're going through a challenging time, it can be really easy for God's voice to be drowned out by the wind and the waves of the storm that we are facing. Things like fear, disappointment and bitterness that we're having to go through in a time of trial can take God's place. But the truth is, we can't avoid storms in our lives. And sometimes we have to go through the trials in order to get the blessing. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, the Israelites were told this, The Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land with rivers and pools of water, a land where you will have plenty of food, where you will have everything you need. But the blessing of the good land came out of the trial of the wilderness. In a previous verse, it says, Remember how the Lord your God has led you in the desert for these 40 years, taking away your pride and testing you. And it's summed up in these words from Psalm 66. You let our enemies walk on our heads. We went through fire and flood, but you brought us to a place with good things. So when we're going through challenging situations, we can be confident in knowing that God has got good things in store for us. In Romans chapter 8, verse 28, we're told that in all things, God works for good of those who love him. In all things, God works for the good of those who love him. Even when we're facing the darkest storm and the wind and the waves are threatening to drown out God's voice, we can know the truth that God's working for our good. And so why don't you just spend a few minutes looking back over a time in your life that was really tough and write down any good things, however big or small, that came out of that time. Let's pray. We'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen.